Hello, welcome back to a second channel video. Today we're going to be unboxing a hell of a load of Game Boys and some cool rare old stuff. Um, I actually put this parcel together in a video that I uploaded on my channel. I'll put that up in the cards. That video shows the process of creating a parcel on Sendico, which some people have been asking me to show them how to do. And it also goes through all the costs. So check out that video. Without any further ado, let's unbox some Game Boys. You're gonna have to forgive me for some of the bad camera angles in this. I'm still without a studio, so I'm just filming on the floor in uh, Freya's living room. So let's go ahead and open this parcel. I want a studio. This is so bad. I was making videos on the floor like in 2016. Since then, I've gained half a million subscribers. You're not even gonna hear what I'm saying because the microphone's. Ugh. Okay, so we're in the parcel now. Um, again, I apologize about the angle. Uh, I'm a small YouTuber, so you'll have to forgive me. Right, let's see what is inside. So one of the things that is so great about Sendico is the packaging, and I'm sure you'll all be able to agree this packaging is good, mainly because I can't open it with one hand. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the package. Uh, so as I was saying, there's obviously a great deal of care that goes into the packaging of these parcels. Sendico are very aware of how important old things are to, uh, to the collectors. So they want to make sure that it arrives in one piece. Okay, so I've actually got Freya with me because one or two things in here are for her. So are you trying to say hello? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so here is the t-shirt that she ordered. Um, it's a Stussy t-shirt. Do you wanna? Yeah, I didn't know it was gold. Wow. That's interesting, isn't it? I also ordered a little Stussy hat. Looks kind of cool. Not sure if I like it yet. It's very uh, Flat pack. blue and pink. Right, so into the good stuff now. Um, so what I'll do, I don't really know how to how to film this, to be honest. It's very difficult filming a video on a floor. Um, if I haven't mentioned before, I'm still without my place. I don't have a studio yet, I don't have a house yet. It's very annoying, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So, this is the first thing. Now, I saw this and I had to buy it. It's gonna at some point be used for a, uh, you know, a, a, an interesting Japanese Game Boy accessory video. Look at this. It's a device that is going to change the buttons on your Game Boy. So we've got a bloody steering wheel, we've got some like joysticks for a uh, for like a, an arcade machine, lots of different sort of action buttons and whatnot. And then this pink thing sort of clips on. So yeah, there we go. That is Joy Parts and super excited by that little thing. Looks really cool. Different modular um, buttons. Okay, so what have we got next? I suppose we can take a look at this. This right here is just the box to a very, very rare version of Tetris. So this is called Big Box Tetris. Now you can obviously see why if you're familiar with the Japanese boxes for Game Boy games, they're very small and this one is huge. So this is a very, very early box for Tetris. This one's not in the best condition possible, but um, it was super cheap. It actually also came with uh, a, a Game Boy, which I'm sure will be in there somewhere. So the idea was this, it came with a, uh, a link cable um, but the version of Tetris that this comes with is the Minuet one, which has the slightly different soundtrack on it. So there we go, big box Tetris and some arcade uh, Game Boy accessory thing. And then I've also got another one of, of big box Tetris. Uh, again, I think this was like, you'll have to watch the other video, but I have a feeling this is only like 30 or 40 um, pounds or something, which for anybody who knows what big box Tetris is will know that that's a very good price. So yeah, there is another big box Tetris and uh, this one is complete and in very good condition. So seriously happy with those. Um, next up, let's have a look at what we've got here. A Game Boy Color. Uh, so this I saw on Sendico for super duper cheap and I had to buy it because I love collecting boxed Game Boys and I haven't got a clear one Look at the condition of that. That is immaculate. Very, very pleased with that. I just love collecting good condition boxed Game Boy colors. And uh, I think for some reason, the ones from Japan always just seem to be in better condition. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because there was just so many in Japan and Japanese people just looked after them better. Um, but let's have a look at the actual Game Boy itself. 
comes with the original bag that the Game Boy would have come in. And then here is the Game Boy. Absolutely stunning. Not in bad condition at all. And it's come with a little game. Yeah, look at the back of that. That is beautiful. It's also come with a small game, which I'm actually not familiar with. So there we have it, the, uh, the Game Boy Color boxed. It also has all the manuals in there as well. Now, there's a very rare item here, which we will take a look at in a little bit. That's kind of the holy grail of this box for me. Um, I've also got some really cool Stussy cargo trousers, which I ordered. Uh, so I'm excited to try those on later. Um, right, what is this? This right here is a Light Boy. This must have come with one of the Game Boys that I ordered. Um, so it's just a, a magnifying glass which had a light as well and you clipped it onto the top of a DMG Game Boy. One thing I will say is I went a bit crazy ordering a bunch of DMGs. Uh, it's going to make sense once I start making videos again on my main channel. But yeah, bunch of DMGs in here. There's also two original Nintendo DS's. Uh, I'm not sure why I ordered these, but they're in there anyway. So I'm not going to bother getting them out quite basic and self-explanatory. So here is a boxed DMG Game Boy. Not sure if it's actually in here or not, but um, I do remember buying one. One of the boxes definitely was empty. So did this one come with a Game Boy? Does feel like it, but Sendico might have put one of the Game Boys in there. Let's have a little look and see. Okay. Slightly damaged polystyrene, um, but there is a Game Boy in there. And there's also some manuals, so we could actually check if this is the Game Boy that was supposed to be in here. And yeah, it is. Look at that. Five, uh, sorry, 5203 there on the serial number and 5203 on the serial number there as well. And that is absolutely brand new. I don't think that has ever been used. The screen is in very good condition. Is there any battery leakage? Nope, not a single bit. Very happy with that. Mint condition DMG Game Boy. And uh, it also came with some sort of like Game Freak stamp, which is presumably the name of the shop where this was purchased from. And you can see it's almost um, sort of copied itself onto the other little piece of paper that would have been in this box. So yeah, super happy with that. Right, next up, what do we have? This is a watch for my friend Toby. It was his birthday. So we'll save that until Toby's with us. I'll get a bit of footage of him opening that. So there's Toby's watch. What do you think, Toby? It looks sick, thank you so much. Do you like much. it? Yeah. Seiko 5, it's got like, a, are they Arabic numerals on there? I'm not too sure, but really like it. And if you take it off as well, I'll quickly show them the back. What do you think of that? It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's sick. Now we've got some cables. I've got a link cable here, and I've got a cable for a Nintendo DS, it looks like, so brilliant. So what else do we have inside this magical box? We have whatever this is. Uh, oh, these are Freya's sunglasses. We're gonna have to wait till she's here so that she can open those. Um, right, reaching over, ah yes. Now I do remember finding this. I was on a train in France and this did catch me by surprise ever so slightly. So I had just spent 300 pounds of my own money on Sendico buying a Japanese Nintendo DSi classroom edition. And then there I was on Sendico on a train and I came across another one that was not listed as a DS classroom. Someone had obviously taken this home from school at some point, you can see where the stickers were for the back, and forgot that it's a DS Classroom edition and it's got the exclusive Nintendo DS Classroom software on here, which is just so damn cool. So there's three DMGs here. We're not gonna go through all of them because there's just absolutely no point, but one that we will go through is this. So I saw this on Sendico and I had to pick it up. I don't remember it being very expensive at all. Look at the state of that. It is so yellow that it's become like a golden Game Boy, but it's actually supposed to be completely clear. So I was thinking maybe it could be fun to try and do a restoration of this, although I highly doubt that this is in any way restorable to a, a reasonable color. But I just thought, quite cool. Could be maybe used as like an example of, of how 
badly damaged Game Boys got in the sun or something like that. But yeah, really cool Game Boy nonetheless. Not sure what I'll do with that. So we've got another couple of DMGs here. Um, as I said, I did order quite a lot of them. Um, we can have a quick look at these because they're pretty much open. Um, so there is one and there's another one. Not sure if they're anything special at all, but I'm just, I just bought them because we need to stock up on some Game Boys and stuff. Right, let's see, what else have we got? So there's a power adapter there for something, uh, and then there's two Game Boy Pockets. Not sure why I bought those, but they were probably cheap, so a couple of Game Boy Pockets. This one actually kind of feels like it's got the batteries in, which is concerning. Let's have a look. Oh God, that's never good, get them out. Looks like they're okay, maybe they're new. Uh, yeah, they're new, 2027. So this Game Boy Pocket actually is in really good condition. You can see on the back there, there's barely any scratches where the games would have been sliding in and out. So there we have it, Game Boy Pocket and the other one as well. And Freya has now joined us again. So let's give her her sunglasses that she's been very excited to get. And she can open those while I open the next box and then she can tell us what she thinks. So this one is a boxed uh, DMG, but it, I think there's no Game Boy in here. It feels very light. This was the box that came with the um, big box Tetris. Uh, it just, for some reason, an empty box. But if there's all the other bits inside, that could be kind of cool. So the uh, quality of them is really good. They're official Ray-Bans. They're really old, sort of uh, vintage ones. Um, but they have got a huge scratch on the lens, which I did know about. Um, I don't know if there's a way to buffer those out, no? Not if it's glass, no. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it. <laughs> You're gonna get them even more scratched up. You always do, because you wear them every single day, so. Um, right, you happy with them? They look really cool, I like them a lot. So here's the Game Boy box. Let's see if there's anything inside. Um, come on. Ooh, another damaged polystyrene insert. Oh, but look at that. We've got a bag. That's really rare. Very, very rare for a DMG. We've got the bag, we've got the manual, and we've got some headphones. So super cool. That was definitely worth buying. It's a shame about this little piece here that's broken, but it is what it is. Now, the last thing in here, I think, for me is um, this. Now, I was not expecting this thing to be so big. So it's a pop station, Game Boy, the Game Pack Cube Model GP, which is just hilarious. Um, but it's so big. I was really not expecting it to be that big at all. Look at how they packaged that. That's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, there we go. Game Boy in the middle and a bunch of little screens and each screen plays a different game. There's one last thing in the box, which is a huge coat for Freya, so we don't really need to open that on the video, but the one thing we are now going to look at is the Game Boy Light. So here we go. This is the moment that I have certainly been waiting for. This is a very, very rare Game Boy Light, um, and to get it in a boxed condition is just super exciting. Now, I actually am giving away one of these on Instagram. I've been super busy, so I haven't actually gotten around to announcing the winner yet, um, but I will get around to that. Here it is. and. All my days is this thing in good condition. I hope so far it looks mint. Yep, the back is absolutely immaculate as well. Not a single little bit of damage that I can see. Really, really cool. My hands are a little bit sweaty here. There's some cool little stickers up here as well. That's interesting that there's a sticker on the box. All right, let's see what the condition of the Game Boy is like inside. Here we go. Right, so there's no battery leakage, which is one of the things that always scares me with Game Boys that haven't ever been used before. Um, right, let's pull the Game Boy out. So I did know that there was a little bit of screen burn. That's not too bad though. Look at the condition of it. Oh, it is mint. My hands are shaking. This is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. That is brand new. That has never, ever, ever, ever been opened before. And then we've got some manuals and leaflets here as well. Really, really cool. Okay, so let's have a look at the serial number on the back of here. So we have um, ends in 2743, and that's exactly what the Game Boy ends in. And then we've also got this, which I've actually never seen before. 
uh, a little pamphlet for some accessories. Really, really cool. So there we have it, everyone. That is the Sendico box. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry for how bad it looks, uh, but I'm about a month out now from getting my life sorted. So thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye. Are you happy with your coat, Freya? I'm very happy.